Whether we are in production plants, assembly lines, spray booths, or engine test booths, air quality inside these environments must be checked and cleaned to ensure the wellness of the workers. Nowadays, modern plants that want to obtain fresh air in industrial environments use the industrial fan. Industrial fans help recirculation in environments where there's need for clean air. They often work as vacuums for harmful or flammable substances, as in spray booths. Fans have a very long history, dating as far back as 500 BC in India, where they were called punka. It was a fully manual system, and servants had to activate the big fan by pulling ropes connected to very big leaves of a plant named palmyra. Omar Rajin Jumla, in 1832, built the first real mechanical fan. It was used and tested in coal mines. In this video, we'll show you different types of industrial fans, their features, and how they work. Industrial fans are divided into four categories. Axial fans, centrifugal fans, tangential fans, and helicocentrifugal fans. We'll focus on the axial and centrifugal ones, the most frequently used in industrial plants. In axial fans, gas is aspirated and sent towards the same direction, parallel to the axis of the impeller. The impeller, the rotating part of all fans, is made of inclined blades attached to a central hub. When the whole group starts spinning, the blades push the air, thus creating a difference in pressure. In an axial impeller, if the blades spin clockwise, the direction of the flow will be forward. Whereas, if they spin counterclockwise, the flow will reverse its direction. The advantages of this type are speed, which is higher than other type fans, higher dynamic pressure, and the fact that it's smaller, lighter, and cheaper. Now let's focus on centrifugal fans. The flow gets aspirated in parallel to the impeller, but gets pushed perpendicularly, thus creating a 90 degree angle. If we observe its components, we'll find the inlet flange, which always integrates a protective grate, the inlet cone, designed as a venturi tube to increase the speed of entry flow. Then we find the impeller, located inside of a snail-shaped structure in sheet metal. This design increases the centrifugal factor. The transmission shaft, with its relative bearings, moved by a system of pulleys connected to a belt, activated by a three-phase electric engine. As we can see in the animation, the engine activates the pulleys, which causes the transmission shift to spin. Pulleys have a different diameter, and they have the task to transmit energy and decrease engine revolutions. A minor speed translates to a bigger strength, so an increase of the couple. The shaft makes the impeller spin, creating a centrifugal effect in its core. The flow arrives perpendicularly to the axis of the impeller, which distributes the flow radially, creating a type of vortex. The flow, helped by the spiral geometry of the structure, is directed towards the exit hole at a higher pressure, which allows it to travel greater distance through a piping system. The impeller is the main component of the fan. Its shape ensures different performances and uses. The radial blades fan is the most resistant structure for its field. They are made to be durable, resistant, and powerful, useful to move big quantities of air, for they reach very high pressures. These fans have a very low maintenance cost and they are perfect for an initial cheap solution. 
The airfoil fan, similar to the ones we find in airplanes, has the best performances with the lowest consumption. It can be used in environments where there are hard, abrasive, or harmful dusts, but the fan must be made of special materials. The industrial fan, with reverse blades, shows up with a minor number of longer blades made of sheet metal with constant thickness. It's a cheap solution with a lower performance. They are used for air renewals and small quantities of dusts. Industrial fans with forward blades are characterized by a higher number of small blades close together, facing the direction of the rotation. They can move large volumes of air at a low speed and they are recommended for applications where a constant airflow rate or an air delivery with constant pressure is necessary. Industrial ventilation systems are a combination of different products, mainly a fan, which can be axial or centrifugal, and a piping network for gas passage from the outside to the inside or vice versa. With an industrial ventilation system installed, there is an important feature to take into account. That is, how much gas do we want in our plant to carry? To know this value, we have to calculate the flow rate of our plant, namely, the volume of gas that the fan moves in a certain period of time. In the international system, flow rate is measured in meters squared per second. The formula to know the flow rate of an implant is very simple. By knowing the speed of the carried gas, namely V, and multiplying it for the width of our piping, namely A, we obtain the flow capacity expressed in meters squared per second. Knowing this value for ventilation implants is essential. It helps us understand whether we are installing the correct product for that determined process. Let's assume we have to run a spray booth, which uses burners to generate hot air. Burners need a right amount of air to work optimally. Let's suppose we install an industrial fan with a flow rate of 400 meters squared per second. And we realize that the maximum temperature level in the booth isn't reached, causing disruptions in productions. This means burners don't get the right amount of air they need, a problem that can be solved with an appropriate adjustment to the ventilation system. In order to obtain a higher airflow rate, two factors require an adjustment. To install a bigger and more powerful fan, and to replace the pipes with a larger width, the flow rate will be greater by running the burners at maximum power. In this video, we saw how the various types of industrial fans work, where they are installed, and how to choose the right ones for the type of process. If you find this video useful, let us know by leaving a like and a comment below. You can also share it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We invite you to click on our website, jawscompany.com, to know more about our next projects.